If you look at a Formula One car from side on, you'll notice that the rear of the car is further away from the ground than the front. Now this incline is something that's known as rake, and one of the biggest pioneers of rake in Formula One has been the Red Bull team. So what better way to illustrate that than to come to the Red Bull facility itself and take a look at this, last year's Red Bull RB14. In of itself, rake is generally quite a simple concept. If you imagine a garden hose and you put your thumb over the nozzle, the water accelerates out at a vastly improved rate. Now, it's the same for rake. The airflow under the car accelerates at a much faster rate because the front of the car is lower, and that means the floor is working much harder because there's a lower pressure zone underneath. And if the floor's working harder, the diffuser's working harder, and that means much more rear end downforce for the car. With a great opportunity to have RB14 here, we can show all the details of the rake setup. You can see very well the beginning of the floor in front of the side pods is much lower compared to the ground. And if we go to the back in front of the rear tire, you see the floor is much higher, a big difference between the front. And this creates nearly a kind of ground effect, increasing the speed in the, the air under the, the floor and the increasing the power of the diffuser. This allowed Red Bull to be able to use less rear and wing compared to the other competitors, so better speed than the straight line. But another little detail shows how much you have to cure every detail to improve the rake setup. The end plate, and especially the foot plate, is cut at the beginning just to avoid that the end plate itself and the foot plate can be damaged when the, the car is very angled with the rake setup compared to the ground. So Giorgio, rake seems like a design trend that a lot of teams are really pushing forward in 2019. What have you made of the cars so far? Yes, a lot of teams, except Mercedes. Mercedes went on without rake setup, while everybody slowly, slowly, they follow the Red Bull on this rake setup. And we can say that now it's becoming a trend. So again, Adrian New will open a new door in the aerodynamic evolution of Formula One cars. And so what makes Mercedes different from perhaps Red Bull or Ferrari? What is their concept? Yeah. It's a completely different concept. Every time they try to do a rake setup, the car was slower. So at the end, they prefer, but the philosophy of the car is completely different, Mercedes from all the others. And do you see rake perhaps increasing as seasons go on, or have we sort of reached a maximum, do you think? I believe that maybe as usual, we will see the maximum maybe in races like Singapore. The Red Bull was very often dominant in Singapore and that was using the maximum rake setup on that track.